Hi, my Tibbies, my TikToker, Sheila True Love here with you this fine Sunday afternoon. I want to share a clip with you in terms of the scams that was going on with Amazon. And you know how people can make, do such foolish things. Totally stupid. You're sitting up here stealing from people, scamming people. You see my ring? This is the nice one. And remember I had that gaudy one, this big old one? Look at the difference. Tacky? Nice. Tacky? Nice. My ex-husband uh, gave me this one. I bought this one for my tacky. Right, This is what you wear in Brooklyn, Manhattan, the Harlem, the hood. Yeah, this one is totally cute. Yes. But anyway, back to the scams over in Amazon. Why on earth would you be stealing from people and then you go and buy yourself a million dollar man shit. This is just too stupid to be real. Anyway, without further ado, I will let you see this clip and I will come back and share with my commentary. I'll come back with my commentary. This is just utterly stupid. We don't talk because oh. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Over the past three years, the scammers have been scamming. Okay, right there. That right there, that's Miss Karika Wortham. She is an ex-Amazon employee who has just been sentenced to 16 years for stealing over $9 million from Amazon, her and her co-conspirators. By the way, which one of her co-conspirators was her girlfriend, Miss Brittany Huston. But anywho, okay, 16 years was a plea. I don't know what they would have gave her if she wouldn't have played out. But anywho, let, let's get into this operation that she had going on, okay? How she stole the money was Miss Karika would make up these fake invoices and had her girlfriend and Mr. Demetrius Haynes, which was in loss prevention, to validate these invoices. Now, y'all already know if you've got other employees and loss prevention on your side, who will check you, boo? Anywho, so they were making money, making money, making money, okay? But what they was was stupid because what Miss Karika did well she went out and bought a million dollar house what? around the corner from Amazon baby you know after working at a place for a year you ain't making no million dollar house money but that's not all she bought she bought a Lamborghini a Porsche bikes you name it they got it they was falling okay but it gets even crazier was that stupid retarded crazy needs to be in a psychiatric hospital what is your issue you sitting up here stealing damn near 10 million dollars and then you got the nerve the audacity to purchase a million dollar home right across right around the corner <laughs> from amazon the place that you're working uh, what, what is that i'm like have you ever been at a loss for words because something was just too unbelievable? That's what I'm experiencing right now. That's what I'm experiencing pretty much now because I'm thinking about, now I understand because the government and, you know, the way the world is right now, people are having a hard time trying to survive and trying to make it. And if I was a person who was sitting around spending money like that, I would have bought no million dollar house and no Lamborghini and no, no Corvette or whatever. No, I would have used my money to be helping older people. I would be paying their bills. I would try to pay your rent for a whole year. I would be making sure your house is full with food. I would be making sure that your medical coverage, so what's going on with you medically? You know, I would probably buy myself something very humble very humble because you don't want to blow it up when you got all of these new things driving around with these fancy. I'm just not like that anyway. You know what I mean? I love being blessed with uh, finances because what good is money if you can't use it to help other people? And I'm a firm believer in what the Bible says when it says there's more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. If I was to hit the lottery today or tomorrow, honey, I would have a field day. I would get myself a condo, condo because I don't like houses, I would get me a condo and I would get me a personal driver. That's about it when it comes to whatever, money, because I usually use Uber as a Lyft. I don't drive. I would get me a personal driver and I would get me a condo paid in full. A normal condominium, two bedrooms, two baths, because I would always want to have a roommate. 
you know, someone to share your life with, like the Golden Girls or Living Single, and you have somebody who got your back and you got their back, beautiful. And the rest of my money, honey, I'm going to invest it. I'm going to definitely take care of my son. I'm going to look out for him because that kid had my back when I lost, I was going through it, and my girlfriend, Teresa. Those are the only two people I feel obligated to look out for. Everything else is going into investments. And how can I help older people? And I'm talking about the Bible says once a person reaches the age of 60, that's when their adult children are supposed to look out for their parents, but they're not looking out for their parents. These adult children are trash, trash. Unless they're African, Asian, Italian, and Mexican, because those people treat their parents when they get older like kings and queens. So that's, that's awesome, you know what I mean? But these American and these other races and nations of people, no, I look at how they treat their parents. And I don't want to hear this garbage about the parent, it's toxic. And then you go off to that alcoholic husband or that drug addict or that no good piece of trash that you go home to. Or you fight like hell to hang on to any and everything that's not your flesh and blood. So that don't sit with me. It ain't going to sit well with God and Christ either. But like I'm saying, this Amazon employee, she got only 16 years and that was a plea. She got off kind of easy when you're talking about stealing nearly $10 million in one year. They did this in one year. What did you do to help somebody else who was struggling? What did you do for the poor people? What did you do for older people? I, I always focus on the older ones. I really love them so much. They're filled with wisdom. They're filled with great humor. They, they, oh, I just love older people because they're, I just, they're, they're beyond treasures. But my thing is $10 million in one year and you have the nerve to go around buying a, a, a mansion, a million, what? Child, please. 